Hi, I'm Pete McDonald with Boating Magazine, and today I'm at the factory of the Maverick Boat Group. They build legendary boats such as Hughes, Pathfinder, Maverick, and Cobia. I'm here today to meet up with Charlie Johnson of the Maverick Boat Group, and he's going to tell us all about Maverick's resin infusion system. It's a really unique way of building boats, and it really adds to the quality of the product. So we're in what we call P2 of our Maverick Boat Group factory. This is our newest factory, and we're at the end of the production line, and I'm standing in front of a Pathfinder 2500 hybrid. It's not complete yet, but I wanted to start with this boat because this is actually the first model that we use Maverick's Varus infusion system. It's how we infuse our boats here at Maverick. We started that system back in 2000 with our Maverick line of technical polling skiffs. That system creates a very light, very strong boat and decided we would migrate it over to the Pathfinders, then also on a lot of our Cobias, and now we're doing it with our Hughes. So if you'll spend a few minutes with me, I'll take you through the entire process, exactly how we build these boats and the benefits of that Varus infusion system. So I'm standing in front of a, a Cobia 280 center console deck here, and it's actually undergoing the infusion process, our, our Varus process, which stands for Vacuum Assisted Resin Infusion System. And without a doubt, this is the very best way to laminate a boat. So as you can see here, we have resin that is actually being pulled through the part. And this is what differentiates vacuum infusion from open layup, which is a more typical kind of, of way to build a boat. And it all starts with basically laying the fiberglass into the mold completely dry. When I say completely dry, that means without any resin in it whatsoever. You also put in all the stringers, all the backing plates, the core materials all at one time. Then you pull a bag over top of it. You pull a suction on that bag. That takes and pulls that bag down into the mold. That compresses those laminates. This takes all those layers and melds them into one monocoque structure. And then you pull resin through the whole thing, through the vacuum. And that's what you see happening here, is the resin has been pulled through the whole part. It spreads out through the fiberglass. It saturates the fiberglass. It encapsulates all the plates, works around all the nooks and crannies, gets everything 100% saturated. And then when that is complete, it sucks out the excess resin. That's a big distinction between open layup and, and an infusion process is that fiberglass can't absorb any more of that resin and that excess resin gets pulled out of the part. The result is that you have the optimum resin to glass ratio every single time. So that means you maximize strength with weight, okay? And so that's the benefits of the infusion system. In addition, because all the fumes get trapped in the bag, it's a much more environmentally friendly way to build a boat. It's also a much more worker friendly way to build a boat as well. They aren't having to wear heavy suits or anything like that. They're not covered in resin. Like I said, that's because all of it is contained in the bag. So it makes for a much more comfortable work environment, just a lot easier for these people to do their jobs correctly. So we commonly get asked why we selected the models we did to migrate the infusion process over. And we've done that now on the Cobias, all the Cobias, the 262 on up to the 350. We've done it on the Pathfinders, all the step toll boats. That's the 23 HBS, the 25 hybrid, the 226s, the HBS, and the TRS. And now we've done it on the Hughes as well. And the reason we picked those boats to start with, those particular models and lines, is because we felt like those were the boats that would most benefit from the characteristics that the infusion process brings. And that is having your boats very stiff, having them very strong, having boats that are going to feel like they're punching through waves as opposed to absorbing the impact. These are the boats that are going to be running like the big Cobias. You're going to be running in big seas. You're commonly going to be putting heavy engines on the back. Same thing with the step toll Pathfinders. Those boats are designed to be very fast big open water boats that can run really well and cover a lot of distance very quickly with the heavier outboards on them. And what makes so much with the Hughes is just like the Mavericks is that they're shallow water fishing boats and shallow water fishing boats 
benefit from being lighter just because they draft less and they're easier to push around on the pole or that sort of thing. So it made perfect sense to migrate Varus over into the Hughes brand as well. So by visiting the factory today, we learned that the Varus resin infusion process makes a really strong boat. And as you can see with this Cobia 262, it makes a really pretty boat too. I learned a lot today, and I hope that you did too. For Boating Magazine, this is Pete McDonald.